when it comes down to God, when it comes down to faith, you can't rely on your human senses, which is what? I believe it is touch, sound or hearing, sight, smell, taste, and I am not sure if I have left anything out or if there is any more that I have not said yet. When it comes down to faith, you can't rely on your senses. For instance, when you repent of your sins, or if you repent of your sins, how do you know that God has forgiven you for your sins? By faith, right? So, you don't hear God telling you that he forgives you, right? You can't sense anything to find out that God has forgiven you, right? No. So in that same aspect, you have to use your faith in other things that pertains to God. This is where people fall short at, like they fail at that. Because so many people are so used to using their senses to Some people need to use their senses to trust that something exists or something is there with their senses, with their human senses. Give me a second, please. When it comes to God, you can't use your human senses. When you read the Bible, Many of that stuff that is in the Bible does not make human sense, right? So how can you believe what is in the Bible with your faith? Because for most stuff that is written in the Bible, you really don't have any tangible proof that it really happened, right? But how do you know that it really happened? You will have to use your faith. You have to believe in God that it really happened that way. Like I said, this is where people fall short at. I believe that people know that there is a God, but they are looking for signs that he actually exists or when they may pray, they may not believe in what they are praying for because they are looking for some type of sign or some way that they will know that what they are praying for is going to happen. And it does not work that way. I believe that if a person has very weak faith, or I don't know what word to use for that, like their faith is all over the place, like, you know, you trust in God, then you don't trust in God, then you trust in God, then you don't trust in God. If your faith is like that, you are going to consistently fall into sin so much. So much. So how can you correct this? This is what I tell people. 
If you want to grow your faith more in God, what you have to do is read your Bible more. You need to pray more. You need to do more things of God more. Constantly listening to secular music and secular movies and television shows and stuff like that, that stuff is going to enter you. But so when you are trying to read the Bible or have faith, all of that secular stuff is going to battle with what you are trying to feed yourself. I'm trying to make this really simple. <laughs> when you are feeding yourself all of this secular stuff and if you are trying to have more faith in God and stuff like that, that secular stuff is going to battle with the information or your involvement of things of God. So what is really hurting you, what you need to do is push out the secular stuff and bring in more of the things of God. So pretty much, to make this really simple to understand, if you want more faith in God, what you have to do is read your Bible more. Because how can your faith grow if you are not doing anything of God? If you are not reading your Bible, how can your faith grow? It won't be able to grow, right? I pray that this makes sense. And like I said, the area of faith is where so many people fail at because they rely on their senses to understand things of God where it does not work that way. I can't rely on my senses when I pray when I read my Bible, so on and so on, because nine times out of 10, I don't feel anything when I pray. Every so often I may, but most of the time, no. I don't feel anything. So if I go by the way that I feel, that is really going to <laughs> mess you up. Because what if one day you pray, then you feel something? Then you may say to yourself, well, God is really considering my prayer. But what if another day you don't feel anything? Are you going to say to yourself, well, God is not considering my prayer? Don't rely on your senses. When I say blind trust, what is that? When you blindly trust a person, what does that mean? That means that you don't need any evidence. You don't need to feel anything. You don't need to smell anything. You don't have to touch anything. You don't need to sense anything or have any evidence you are just going to trust that person no matter what. That is how we are supposed to trust in God. And if we don't get to that place, that is going to make much trouble for us. So much trouble. Does this make any sense? Faith. Faith, let me say it like this. Faith seems so simple, but it is so hard at the same time. Like, the concept of it seems very simple, but at the same time, it seemed very hard. 
the more that you grow in faith, the more you are going to understand God. The more miracles that God is going to be a the more miracles that God is going to be able to work through you. The more of God you are going to see. So you are going to see more aspects of him. Because how can you see more aspects of him when you are not doing the thing that is going to get you to know him better? I pray that this makes sense. So if you want to know God more, your faith has to grow. You can't have like wavering faith and believe that you are going to experience God much more. It does not work that way. The way that you experience God more is by growing your faith. And the way that you grow your faith is by what? By reading your Bible more, by praying more, by fasting more, by doing more things of God. This is how you grow your faith. And then what God is going to do, he is going to test you. He is going to test your faith. And each time you pass that test, your faith is going to grow. For instance, my faith is stronger now than what it was a year ago or two years ago. Why? Because I have been getting tested more. And the more that I get tested, the more that I pass those tests, the higher my faith is going to elevate. And the more I am going to understand of God. I pray that this makes sense. So really take heed to this. God bless.